GCSE required practical 2A is investigating thermal insulators, changing the type of the material. So the first thing you need to do is to wrap the sides of two beakers with different insulating materials and leave the bottoms free of material so they can rest on the bench nice and easily. So we've got some bubble wrap here and we've got black paper and then leave one beaker free of any material to act as a control. Use the kettle, so freshly boiled, and pour the same quantity of water into each of these. You can see the measurement marks from the inside of the beaker, just take care with this. Uh, we've gone for uh, 100 milliliter beakers, and we're filling them up to the 80 milliliter mark. So we need to use a piece of cardboard for the lids to reduce the heat transfer by evaporation and place your thermometers into those beakers to the same depth for each of these. Now, We'd normally leave it for a moment just to stabilise, perhaps a minute, um, but the time it takes to assemble this apparatus is usually sufficient uh, to allow the temperature to stabilise. Then it's just a matter of taking the measurement of the temperature and then recording that every minute uh, for a period of 15 minutes with the bubble wrap, the black paper and the control. Okay. I'm going to start my stopwatch now and get on with the measurements. And here you can see the results that we've taken for the 15 minute period. So these will now be transferred to a, uh, a graph, a line graph, and have three separate lines carefully labelled. One for the bubble wrap, one for the black paper, and one for the control. And with time going along the, uh, the bottom axis or the, as the independent variable.